I'm Katrina, this is So in Terror, and today we're talking cookbooks. As you guys know, I am moving. So, um, I've already gone through my cookbooks uh, probably about a year ago. I knew I was going to be moving, and I was like, okay, I need to do this because I love cookbooks. I do. I love cookbooks. I can sit on the floor and read on read them forever if they're well written and good have good recipes. And so, figure as I pack them up, I will tell you a little bit about some of the cookbooks I've come across. I don't know how this is gonna go, so we'll find out together. Some of the stuff isn't cookbooks. <laughs> Batteries. All right. I think I'm actually gonna start on the bottom. Volleyball. And I have seeds. I have seeds everywhere, guys. There's Lovage seeds and Anna's Hyssop seeds, and I think these are carrot seeds in here. Yep, I'm a gardener. More seeds. Okay, getting down to the bottom here. I'm not gonna go through all these with you guys, but. <clears throat> There's a series of sunset cookbooks that are really good. Um, Best of Baking is pretty good. I have a bread one. Don't know where my bread one is. It's probably out somewhere. There's a bread one that, that's really good. But uh, this is kind of the sunset are the ones that are is old, they're typical, they're reliable. <laughs> then of course I have my Better Homes and Joy of Cooking. Gotta have those, right? Uh, that's a binder, so I'm gonna stand it up. KitchenAid has a cookbook, and I haven't used very much of it. Um, so I can't say very much about that. American Folk Life cookbook. This one has um, kind of the regional cooking stuff. Let's see what I have marked. I have marked corn chowder, I think, is what I have marked in here. Fanny Farmer, another classic. Italian cooking. You know, I don't know that I... I think the only reason why I have this is because it has pasta recipes. So I think that's the only reason why I have this, because I haven't really cooked much out of this one. And the Garlic Lovers Cookbook. So every year the Garlic Festival would make a cookbook and you could submit recipes and all that. And um, I have several of these. I don't even know if they're making that anymore, but uh, there is no Garlic Festival anymore. So, unfortunately. Um, there we go. All right, next up are Pacific Flavors and the Wild Table. This is a one, this is more typical like foraging stuff, but it has, I would say it's okay. Um, but it has foraging stuff in there. Let's see. Just random cookbooks here. I wanna show you some good ones. Some like really good ones. This is a good one. The Rural Light um, Special Edition. Or Rural Light Cookbook Special Collection. This has tons of different recipes from all over people submit to contests, and that's what this is. And yes, I understand this is gonna be a heavy tub. I understand this. <laughs> but right now I just need things to fit in tubs. And I will put them on a uh, Dolly to move them. Here's what I got from one of my friends. Cooking ingredients. Um, it talks all about the ingredients in cooking. Oh, here's a Better Homes and Gardens cast iron. There's a recipe in here that is marked. And it is veggie skillet biscuits. And these are super good. Um, 
I will leave that out actually and take a picture of that before I pack it because I do want to make that. <clears throat> Panera cookbook. You guys don't know this. I used to work at Panera and uh, there's actually some really good recipes in here. Um, yeah, I worked at Panera for a few months and uh, 515 an hour <laughs> in Iowa. Um, the Book of Bread. So this is this is a good one. There's a lot of bread books that, that I have. I used to cook a lot more. I used to bake a lot more bread than I do now. Um, <laughs> I want to show you guys this. So I use weird things as bookmarks. It's whatever I find. Okay, here's here's a receipt from Knob Hill. Here's an envelope from something my mom sent me. And here <laughs> is a knee high. <laughs> now, why is there a knee high in my cookbook? It's because it was it's what it was there. Um, why do I have knee highs? I don't wear them. Uh, I have them to put over uh, vegetables to protect them from rats. It works. Does not work for squirrels. Does work for rats. There's your little tidbit. <laughs> All right. Bell's Best has a few good things. Authentic Mexican. This is a this is a good recipe. This has a really good flan recipe in it, and it has. Um, other, some other good recipes, but the flan recipe I use is out of this book. I think I did a video on that. This book. This, if you get one bread book, this is the one to get. It's the Tassajara bread book. The Tassajara um, bread book. These are recipes from the monks that were in California in Tassajara, um, which is somewhat local to me. I got this for a nickel, I think, at a secondhand store. And again, I use weird things for bookmarks, like the label of a green bean. I don't know, it does have a recipe on it. Chicken and green bean Alfredo. I might try it one day, but really it was a bookmark. Um, yeah, so they, they have really, really good instructions, really, really good recipes in here. And usually they're pretty large recipes. So, but this, this is the book to get if you're getting into bread. <clears throat> now this one, this one has great stories. So, new book of great desserts, Media Heathers. Um, she has a great story for every cookbook, or she has a great story for every recipe. And I'm actually, I've been writing a, a recipe book for a couple years now, yeah, a few years now, and I don't have very many recipes in it, but I really want to sit down and concentrate on that and, and do that because the way I cook is usually without a recipe, <laughs> usually. Um, so I have some stories about some some things that I make now. I have some some stuff like that. So it would be like incorporated into the recipe would be the story. So I have started that and it won't be done for a long time, but it's coming. <laughs> All right, this is, this is a book my, mom gave me called cooking for two honestly the only recipe i use in here is for pancakes let's see if it opens right oh, right up to it but it's small batch mm, it's not gonna open right up to it it's small batch um stuff but there's a good recipe for pancakes in here um for a small batch All right, it's the bottom. A lot of random things. Um, this is a really good book that I found at a garage sale or a thrift store. I don't remember which. ABCs of Cookies. This has really good um, peanut butter cookie recipe in it, and it's the recipes go through the alphabet. So let's see what I have marked in here. I saw a marker. A bookmark. An actual bookmark. <laughs> peanut butter cookies. There we go. Yeah, peanut butter cookies. So I always write in my cookbooks if it's good or not. This one says peanut butter cookies, good. And then it says leave on pan one minute after removing from oven before transfer to cooling rack. That's important for some cookies. It's not important for others. Then next to it's oatmeal wafers. And it says not great, crumbly. <laughs> so it's good to write these things down because you're like, oh, maybe I'll try that. And if it was just not right or if you'd make it a different way next time, might as well have those notes.
All right, this is a cookbook my mom put together with family recipes. It has a picture of my grandma on it. Um, I think she put this together, I think it was after my grandma passed, but it had some of the, the recipes, it's very thin, but like it has kind of just some of the recipes, it has her, her, her handwriting in it. Um, Yeah, has her handwriting in it. So it's a nice little memory book with recipes. Stories and recipes of the Great Depression. I just find it interesting that we have stories and recipes together. I, again, I like that. There's a bunch of garlic festival stuff, random sweets, you know, these little pamphlet booklet things. I'll put those here. And this one has some okay recipes. I don't use it very much. Um, this one is candy recipes and other confections. You can see how old this book is. This has some good recipes in it for candies and other confections. Let's see. more joy of cooking stuff. It's there. And more garlic, garlic uh, cook-off recipes. Um, the zucchini cookbook. This has a lot of good stuff in it. Uh, for the zucchini glut, um, breakfast and brunches. This just has a lot. It's mostly breads. There's some other things in here. Chocolate cookbook. Yeah, more garlic festival stuff. Holiday stuff. All right, we're on to the binders now. This is a binder that my mom gave me. It was gonna have recipes in it, and when she gave it to me, it was just a binder with my name on it. But uh, over the years, I have collected all sorts of recipes in here. If I find something online, or if I get mailed something, um, I stick it in here, and have all sorts of fun things out of magazines and out of off the internet. And one of these is good to have, and I like having a physical copy because. I can set it up in the kitchen and just look at it. I don't have to like, oh, my screen shut off or any of that stuff. It doesn't happen. Um, oh, home canning and freezing cookbook. That belongs to the canning stuff, but it'll go here. That goes in here. This was my original cookbook from my mom. Yes, it's a photo album with little cards in it and uh, little index cards and so you can have a little index card little tiny thing uh, for your cookbook especially if you're sending someone off to college which is what that was all about oh here's my bread book sunset it's not it's sunset this is a really good bread book my uncle gave me this um, really good um, this is where the holla recipe comes out of I did a video on that the um i've done so many recipes out of here uh the pretzels i did bear claws um yeah bear claws is marked what else is marked back here Oop. oh um dinner muffins are marked so this is a good one sunset all right goes in here. I am guilty of printing off things and just shoving it into the bookshelf. <laughs> Apparently a lot of these are. This actually isn't a recipe book. This is has to do with plants, but I don't have another place to put it, so I keep it with recipes. Best of Sunset. Sunset is another good one. Chocolate cookbook. This has a lot of good recipes. It's Whitman's. 
Um, this one was at a estate sale and it's another binder. And this was kind of like my binder, but it's, it's somebody else's. And somebody was getting rid of their loved one's recipes. And I haven't had time to go through all of it. Um, if you have a loved one and they spent their life collecting good recipes that they love, don't throw those out. Don't throw those out. Here's another one I got at, at a, the very similar thing. I need to put it in a new folder, it looks like. But this was in a folder. Um, and this is somebody's hard work. This is somebody's favorite recipes are here. And this family was getting rid of them. And these are all recipes. They're out of magazines and newspapers. And there's some handwritten ones in here. Um, I mean, they taped them on. Look how yellowed that is. Um, and this is just something they stored in this little this little folder. This poor sad folder. Um, but I thought it was very sad that people were just getting rid of their loved one's um, recipes. So, I mean, they took a lot of time and they, they, they saved the ones they want to save that are good and tasty and yummy. So, um, if whenever I see that, I've only seen it twice and I picked them up twice as these two, but when I see those at, at like garage sales, I always, I'm going to pick them up because they meant someone to some they meant something to someone and it doesn't seem right to to uh just trash it you know that's just me though what to each his own as they say all right oh here my all-american pressure canner uh guide manual All right, Growing Herbs in Pots. I don't know that I need that book anymore, but there you go. Here's some, a couple cool books there. Not necessarily cookbooks, but I put them in the same category. Flower Cookery and Edible Flowers, A Kitchen Companion. And these will talk about edible flowers. This one has, this one has really good stories about like the origins of, of names of these things, the historic uses of them, the, you know, meanings behind them and all that. So that has some pretty cool stuff there. I'll organize this once I get all these out. And that's garden stuff. Okay. Good enough to eat. This is another one that has like flowery stuff in it. This one's called On Food and Cooking, and it's a more uh, technical chemistry type book. It's a, it's, it's not for like the average person that wants to learn how to cook. It's all dusty. <laughs> it's not for the average person that wants to learn how to cook. It's more like what, you know, if you add this and this, what actually happens chemically? Like if you, you know, and it has it has some of that stuff, but it has a, other kind of more advanced stuff. Culinary reactions. So this one has again, it's like a it's like a layman's book to this one. Um, different authors, but the everyday chemistry of cooking. What well, Einstein told his cook. This one has some pretty interesting things in it, like why an egg yolk is always going to one side when you hard boil them. Yeah, it's because the densities are different between the yolk and the whites. And so if you want them in the center, you got to stir it. So things like that. It's a pretty interesting book here. All right. And a guide to making the best of foods and beverages. This is just another, another good book. All right. I know I have more cookbooks somewhere. <laughs> But I also, I know, I understand, I understand, guys. There's so many cookbooks here. And I know I don't use them all, all the time. And some of them only have one recipe I use. 
and yes, the wise thing would be to make a photocopy of that recipe and put it in my notebook. But I like them and I, I've already gotten rid of tons of them. And so um, hopefully they will continue to be with me. <laughs> and eventually I'll be finishing my cookbook and then you guys can collect cookbooks. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this in this bin. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy your day. If you like this, hit the like. If there's a cookbook that I really need that I don't have already, let me know what it is. <laughs> let us know what your favorite cookbook is in the comments. Um, and we will go from there. I know I have more somewhere. I know I have like the Quail in the Kitchen cookbooks too. And uh, yeah, so. Thank you for watching. I want to know what your favorite cookbook is and uh, hopefully your collection is as ridiculous as mine. And we will see you later. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the day.